Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Floss. It's been a tough week and a bit. There's no denying that whatever your feelings are on the election that was, it has reverberated around the world. And I know in living in Australia, often people ask why people are so invested in it, why they're emotionally responding to it. It's because we live in a global society now where we all feel movements around the world and I don't think we can escape it. How you handle the news and your emotional response to it is completely up to you. A lot of people took time away from social media to sort of breathe and distance themselves, not from the news and not from what actually happened, but just to care for themselves. I think it's really important to do. Um, I know it can be being, there are so many studies that show being exposed to social media during times of crisis can be damaging for mental health. So if you find yourself still emotionally responding to certain comments, posts, articles that you're seeing repetitively in your, in your timeline, take a step away. Read, read a book, watch a show that you love. And on that note, I'm going to suggest a show to love and binge watch that's fun and light and friendly and fluffy. And just in times like this, when you sometimes need a break, good to have. It's Younger TV, it's on TV Land in the US, and it's on Stan, the downloading streaming network here in Australia. Oh, my battery light just went on. Oh no! It's the story of Eliza or Liza who is a 40 year old woman whose divorce has just been processed. Her 18 year old daughter's gone off to India and she's kind of lost in her life now. She wants to go back to work. She had previously worked in publishing and she, we join her as she goes to a few interviews and everyone tells us she doesn't have the experience and she's too old for the roles that she wants. And she desperately wants to break back into the industry that she's so passionate about. So she's staying with her friend Maggie. They go out one night at a bar and um, she's cracked onto by a guy who thinks she's a lot younger than she is. And Maggie says to her, well, why don't you do this with your job? No one really knows who you are. If we delete all your social media, which you don't have a lot of, um, we can just remake you as a 26 year old. But she decides to do it because she's at a loss and she really wants to get back into the workforce. And she interviews for a role at Empirical Press and she gets the job. From there unfolds her double life. She is a 26 year old young publicity marketing intern at a publishing house, but she's also a 40 year old woman uh, with a kid and an ex-husband. And it's a really fun, lighthearted look at those two worlds. It's um, Sutton Foster who plays Eliza is brilliant in it. She is obviously, she's believable enough to pass for a 26 year old. Okay, sure. It's not real, but you just have to let it go. It's not supposed to be a true life, you know, memoir thing. She is fun. She's positive. That's the thing I love about Eliza's character is that she's so positive and that so she works, ends up working for this kind of like um, Devil West Brider-esque boss who is right often. And that's what I really like about the show is they don't necessarily make this boss a demon who is wrong and out of touch. This boss has her own way of doing things and she's very strict and everything like that. But Liza never gets discouraged or bitchy about it, is that she figures out a way to do the job the way that will make the boss happy. Um, Hilary Duff is someone she befriends who's a fellow, who's an editor who's 26 and they become friends. So she has to kind of fake her 26 year oldness. She also becomes, uh, has a romantic interest, Josh, who is so hot. He is the hipster tattoo artist who lives around the corner from her. Um, they have a relationship, but can she tell him the truth? We don't know. I don't care. He is gorgeous. There is also Charles, who is the editor-in-chief of Empirical Press. He is a 40-year-old divorcee, or about to be divorcee, who is someone who would be completely appropriate for Liza to date if she could tell the truth. But she can't tell the truth. Other great things that happen is the show is there's some fantastic author, um, stories there's a george r, r. martin-esque character there's a p is for pigeon which is which is like a you know a mock on the literary stuff um it's a really interesting insight of the publishing world well of course being elevated the fashion is fantastic it's designed by the woman who was a sex in the city costume designer um but it's not probably as ridiculous in that it's still very cool and on trend and very colorful and great but it's not so stupid that you're like what the hell are you wearing no one will ever let you leave the house like that so it's just a fun show the eps are 20 minutes long you will power through the seasons if you're going to binge watch it um and there's some really interesting turns that's taken throughout the whole show if you have watched younger tv and you love it as much as i do leave a comment below let me know if you haven't 
You should be doing it right now. It's fun, it's light, it's perfect for times like this.